So my name is George, I teach technology to kids. And I believe that connecting our kids to kids in other countries is more important now than it's ever been in history. So why is it so important now? Well, I think it's important now because the world is shrinking. Okay? So the web, in particular the social web and other technologies have removed barriers that separate us from other people. Okay? And when you remove those barriers, what happens is people mingle, they interact like they've never interacted before. These interactions can be tricky because human beings are great at recognizing the outsider. Okay, I'll give you guys a hint, it's the one that's half green. <laughs> Alright, so when we when we're the outsider, okay, we're we're an outcast, we don't fit in. Alright, and everybody who's ever lived in another foreign country knows what it's like to not know the social norms and customs of the culture that you're living in. Um, this can be a problem because when you're trying to market a product like the Smork and Labbit, <laughs> people are going to think it's a joke and it's going to go on websites and get passed around and um, you're not going to be taken seriously. Now the, the maker of this shirt here, <laughs> this may be a great company, they may have great quality shirts, but no one's going to buy this because of how it looks. Now to, to us this is garbage, okay? We take this, but in America, we don't throw clothes in the trash. We take our garbage and we throw it in a clothing drop box to give it to the freezing African children. Okay? Now, what we don't think about is what effect these clothes have on the local economy. Well, for a country like Zambia, it has decimated the local textile industry. Um, you can't compete if you're a local Zambian uh, shirt maker. You can't compete with a Kobe Bryant jersey that's free and that comes over from a cl uh, clothing drop box. Now, we're more interconnected now than we've ever been and we have this tremendous impact, but we still have a very isolated mindset in America. And there was a 2006 survey that said 63% of 18 to 24 year olds could not find Iraq on a map. When you can't find Iraq on a map, we have this tremendous impact on other cultures and a tremendous ignorance. And when you combine those two things together, it's no wonder people view America as a bull in a china shop. All right now, speaking of a bull in a china shop, everyone's familiar with this. The ironic part of uh, Miss Teen South Carolina's speech here was that she was talking about why Americans are so bad at geography. All right, but now, the cultural problems we have aren't always that funny, okay? And in, 1857 in India, the British East India Company was administering northern India. And they recruited local Hindu and Muslim soldiers and they called them sepoys. And they gave them Enfield rifles. Now to operate an Enfield rifle, you have to bite open the cartridge. Okay, now these cartridges are greased up with pork fat and beef fat. All right, so why is this bad? Well, Muslims don't eat pork and Hindus don't eat beef. So, long story short, both groups revolted and violence swept northern India and 10 million people plus lost their lives in this conflict. The good news is 150 years later we learned something about India and we're able to open a McDonald's there. Now, you might say, well how does a hamburger restaurant open up a chain in India, a country that doesn't eat beef? Great question. McNuggets, okay, they learned that Chickens are not sacred, and neither are veggie burgers. So regardless of what you think of McDonald's, the bottom line is that you can see now the difference between knowledge and ignorance of other cultures. Knowledge is power in the global economy. Just to make a simple pair of blue jeans, you need to navigate through 14 different countries, from Indonesia to Singapore to Malaysia to Thailand to China. All right, so think about all that takes you have 14 different chances to make a mistake that's going to cost your company millions of dollars and maybe thousands of jobs. All right, but this talk really isn't about, um, it's not about just costing money. It's not about raising money. It's about teaching kids how interconnected they really are. It's about teaching kids that they have a tremendous impact on the world. It's about teaching kids that they can solve problems globally instead of just create them. So in short, 
It's about raising a generation that we can all be proud of. Thank you for letting me talk, and God bless you.